A visit to Masaja Zone March in the Division in Kampala brings us to the farm of Francis Muchibi, a poultry farmer who has been in this business for 20 years now. Muchibi, however, feeds his over 2,000 chicken with much desperation, since he is uncertain of the future supply of poultry feeds. His stock has reduced by over 1,000 in a span of two months due to scarcity of maize burned caused primarily by over-exportation of maize. He remains unsure of what the future holds for his poultry farm that he inherited from his father. I'm just only on the verge of collapsing. I don't say I'm performing well. We are just on the other end of the road. And there I say, we, we depend on chances now. If we fail to get money, we shall not be able to continue with this uh, poultry farming business. Muchibi is forced to pay up to 40,000 shillings more for a 100 kilogram sack of maize brand, the main food for poultry, a fee too high for his cost of production. <laughs> Seeking assistance from financial institutions is not a popular idea for small-scale poultry farmers. They associate loans with interest rates that are as high as 1.8% per month and demand for collateral that they deem very unrealistic. And as more and more small-scale poultry farmers are now exposed to market forces which they cannot understand, they are now reacting by selling off their chicken before the maturity age of four and a half months. The danger that we are now facing is that the local chicken that small-scale poultry farmers produce for us may not be there for us to enjoy in the near future. <laughs>